Whew. Man, Friday, finally, we're here. Feeling kind of winded. All that work I've been doing all this week. Here we are. Finally making it to the two designated days by the majority of the population that agree that this is the time we... It does not say Nebraska. Nebraska 91, all right. It did say Nebraska, okay. But we're very close to what we have all agreed on for most of the population as to the uh, two days off consecutive we have. And those would be Saturday and Sunday. Oh, how long is the 91? Not very? Okay. This helps. We have a tiny strip of road here. Maybe not as tiny as I thought. 91 goes to... Uh, ends at Snyder. And goes... Just past Spalding, so we have this strip of road to now figure out exactly where we are. I'm going to go this way. This is a very long strip. All right, feeling confident, feeling good. This is like the first America photo we have that has not been absolute garbage. I'd like to applaud you for that, GeoGuessr. Actually, yeah, you guys did the work. I mean, granted, Google did most of the work by actually paying for the cars to go do this stuff. You're just uh, using what they've given to everybody to uh, make this fun game. And we're all benefiting for it. Thank you very much. And of course, thank you all for sitting here watching me. Enjoying this game me talk what am i even what what am i doing this is this is just turned into gobbledygook we're making a bit of a turn now we are heading south is there there's a bit of a turn here but we're not close to humphrey i don't think it's that drastic of a turn either still got a minute i'm feeling fine I should probably start looking for road signs so I can, uh, may, no, that's too far away. This will help. I got a minute left. I need to find an intersection on this side of the road that I can, uh, start scanning. I know I've passed a few, but at this point I need to narrow it down a bit more and I'm not seeing, I mean, I saw mileages, but I can't tell, uh, direct. Okay. This is a road coming up. I'm feeling confident now. The road next to the road. Come on. I got 30 seconds. Give me road name. Road name? No road name. This is just probably saying. Oh, it's a turn. I got 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. This is going to tell me in 20 seconds about Madison Square Garden, huh? Madison Square Road. Okay. Let's take a look for if it's a big enough. I don't think this is a. Nope. All right. I'm just going to have to live with what we got because I feel confident. Not bad. Oh, 91 was farther out here. So we were we were over here. Where's Madison Square Road? I just want to see what direction we were heading in. Madison Square Road. Okay. So we were heading this way. Not that far from Taylor. That definitely would have helped if I got to it. I'm giving you four stars just because it was good quality photo. I instantly know we're in Scandinavia. In fact, we're next to Kehamnes the Mentai. Kehams. Yeah, okay. Magical part. This is cool. Probably smells nice here. That's the one good thing about fall that maybe never one, not everyone gets to enjoy. You can tell it's the fall. The leaves are falling off here. Uh, it's the obvious thing. 
It's a bit wet, a little crisp in the air, and there's a smell. It's just a good smell. You're just like, ah, uh, it's nice, calm, especially up here. It doesn't it's not windy? You just take a nice walk. You hear the well, the leaves are probably wet, so you can't hear a crunch. You can hear the the crunch under your feet of the dirt road. Just take a nice stroll. Enjoy, Laja. So. I feel this is Finland. Now, if anybody could tell me easiest ways, again, I've asked this before, to delineate between the three countries. Like, I can, I can tell Icelandic pretty easily just because of the language they like to. I'm looking for flags. I'm not seeing any. The, the, that D that's got the line in it that's kind of like a TH, that's real, real helpful for me. And I know that umlauts get used. I don't know if you guys call them umlauts in Scandinavia, but Germany does. I don't know what... Like, okay, Finland only uses umlauts on A's, and Sweden does it on E's, or... I don't know. These are nice houses. These have just been built. They look like they have a dirt yard instead... Oh, that had a sign, but I don't think it told me anything. It was one thing I thought was super weird when I visited New Jersey once. Ooh, this is this may help me because this may have a road information. Nothing. A minute fifty. I gotta click something soon though. Um. Yeah, like I went to a big bougie part of. Uh, let's go over here. Of, um, why can't I talk? New Jersey. Okay, this, there's, there's no flagpole here. And a lot of people, instead of actually paying for someone to do the yard work, they just have rocks on there for a yard. I mean, I guess it's a cost-saving thing. I mean, okay, good for you. Oh. Okay. Alla yarvi. Sairala. Kaskusta. I feel here. Um, there is a line here. Why was that blurred out? I don't know why Mushkaturi was blurred out like that. We're going to keep going this way. We're going to keep, we're going to keep going this way. You have 45 seconds left. This seems, well, I've gotten used to having Pirkandoyan. Pirkandoyan. Like, I'm saying it that way isn't helping me in any way figure out exactly where we are. Volvo, I'm I'm switching to like here. We're kind of near water, so maybe I don't know here. Um I'm not seeing like a highway sign, route signs anywhere. Um auto popisto, that doesn't help me. Well, here we go. We're going to find out where we are. Oh, it was Finland. We were next to uh, Atari. Good for you. I'd like to visit that place one day. I say that about a lot of places I go to visit. <clears throat> but going back to that yard thing with all the rocks in it, I don't know, it just seems like... This is France. I don't know what this is. Not yet, at least. We're in Europe. That's all I know. Like, if you... Yeah, we're in France. Le Grand Bureau. For the Chambla Hotels and Gorgets. It's one of the things. You have a, you have a house. You have a... Uh, sortie means exit. You have a yard. You take care of the yard. It just seems... It seems weird to say, kind of cheap, just to be like, um, I'm too lazy, number one, to mow my own yard. Unless, like, there's a weird thing I don't understand that maybe there's, like, a, uh, a, like, homeowner's, whatever you want to call it, D951. Okay, we're next to Sully Sulor. And they have to, if they have a yard, they have to pay somebody to do it, which seems real dumb, but 
homeowners things, like whatever they're called, they're kind of dumb to begin with. All the rules are dumb. 951, well, I'm going to click there. Although that means nothing because these roads go everywhere. And there's 50. Oh my god, I found it. Um, yeah, I'm going to follow this road that they have to abide by certain rules. I'm just like, no, please. So let me have the house I want to, but I guess you're paying for the the area as well. Oh, 951 keeps going this way. Sully de Lor. Sully Sul... I can't say that word. Lor. I'm going to click like here. Actually, it goes... Am I near, am I near a lake? Can, can I... Can I zoom out? Uh, we're zoomed out. Leaving that, uh, I think we're on the other side of Sully St. Lore, which makes me feel like here. And that way I'm going to hit home. Now I'm going to look for route name, road name for this. All right, this is, look for Legrand Biru. And maybe, but yeah, if you have a yard, you have a nice house, you can pay for the yard. I mean, you can pay for the house. It's not cheap. You should be able to also pay for the uh, upkeep of it. Or you can just do it yourself. You got kids. Isn't that like a thing you do with kids? Make them do your work for you. Centra to service to Centra. Keep, stop saying center. Is this it? It's the CSC. That doesn't tell me. It just seems dumb. Oh, oh, I thought that was a lion. I'm like, this is the wrong place. I feel confident we've we found where we're where we're supposed to be here. Just to, just tie up the stupid ramble. I'm done with it. I'm I'm annoyed with myself for even babbling this long about it. Bit of a turn, and we turn back. Um, that doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Bit of a turn and a turn back. Um, I feel here. Yeah, we'll go with that. How close was I? Oh, uh, it should have been closer. Five stars. I'm feeling good. Look, I knew I would. This is probably Brazil. And I'm sitting here. I'm getting this weird ache in the si on my side. And I'm just worried it's like... All right, what's falling apart in my body now? Just because when you get old, things happen. Hello, Samu. Where's this Samus? Ambulance. Ambulancia. Is that a Portuguesean way of saying it? That tells me nothing. I see duh and duh. That doesn't help me. Yeah, you wake up. I'm constantly under this issue, like... I may have mentioned this before, my, like, back kind of hurts, and I'm worried that doing dumb things like just drying myself off after taking a shower is just going to make it worse somehow. And I'm just going to be in a world of pain. This doesn't tell me anything yet. Keep going. This is like reclaimed swampland. They put this road in. Marshland, maybe. And now I'm just, like, concerned. Is this like a... All right, maybe my pancreas is exploding, and my gallbladder's like, nah, fuck this, we're done. And now I'm just kind of like, I could have stopped it now if I did anything about it, but it's just like another ache that like can hang out for five seconds and disappears. When you're a kid, oh. when you're younger than I am right now, usually that's not an issue. You're just like, okay, this kind of hurts now. I'll be over it. I'll be fine. I think I felt like I've seen this part before on like this section of uh brazil so i'm just gonna click there hopefully this doesn't turn into argentina or mexico because i'll be extremely miffed if it is just be sure if you're young and you're watching this enjoy yourself being young which you'll never do i didn't do it you didn't do it you just listen to that baz Luhrmann song where he tells you to always wear sunscreen um 
When you're young, you want to be older. When you're older, you want to be young. And when you're a teenager, you just want to die. Just be happy with... Yeah, I'm young. Realize that when you get hammered at night and then the next day you're actually uh, able just to go out and act like nothing bad happened from the night before. You're not going to be able to do that in like 10 or 15 years. That'll be like sign number one that uh, it's it's you're, you're getting older. Your body is just like, yeah, we can't keep doing it this way. Or maybe, I don't know if that's like a thing that just happens or if it's because you're speeding it along by drinking a lot. But that's what you do when you're young, I guess, is get hammered, have fun, party, because that's the culture of youth. And that's when you're expected to do it because your body can handle it. It's just knowing what when the cutoff is. You, you'll get sick of it. I was like, oh, God, this is like the eighth straight day of going out, partying. Maybe I just want a nap. That's also a thing people uh, think about when... Uh, no, not when. Let me word this better. Porto Escolar. I haven't seen anything that's telling me where this is. There was a scientific experiment they did with kids. Like, little young kids. Where they allowed the kids to eat whatever they want. You know, said, all right, kid, what do you want to eat? I want cheeseburger. Or, or, you know, I want candy. All right, what kind of candy? Pick whatever you want, ate it. Kids loved it. They, uh, days and day. All right, see how terrible this score is. Well, it was Brazil. I was close enough. No points. What the hell is this? Chaparral. Let's go this way. Was there something this? Yeah, there's some stuff this way. You know, for a couple of days straight, yeah, the kids would just straight up eat and pick nothing because candy because you know kids they probably never get to have candy when they're at home with their parents because parents want them to uh eat better so the kids are loving it loving life candy all the time hooray happy times but eventually what happened is uh well it's just a water thing kids started being like i want a salad I want, like, ham sandwich. You know, like, non-junk food. Because I guess the argument was that their bodies kind of kept, told them, is that a day? No, it's a Mercedes. And they're driving on the wrong side of the road. So this is not America. This is potentially South Africa or Australia. I feel like the center of Australia. So, I guess your bodies at some point will eventually kick in. Maybe your subconscious or it'll, 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 your body will make you aware of your uh, nutritional needs. That looks like a baobab tree, which makes me feel like this is South Africa. Or that just looks like a tree you would not find in Australia. Although, I'm either going to have a really good score or a really terrible score because I don't know if you looked at the globe recently, the uh, Australia and uh, South Africa, not that close. And this is just nothing at all. I'm getting real concerned here. I mean, the, the score is pretty decent here. It's a tree in one kilometer. And it's it's hinging on how well I get this guess. Where we're, uh... No, I wanted to go forward. Where we're going to end up. Is that a... Okay. All right. That, that sealed it. R63. Okay. This feels... Well, the Mib Desert's in this area. So I feel we're in this part of South Africa. Look for Loxton. Actually, Namib Desert, I believe, is actually on the coast. But R63. Rule 63. Man, we gotta get way in here for R27. Well, let's just click on the country. Loxton. 20 miles to lock or kilometers to Loxton. Okay. 
I've not seen R63, 383. I don't know that how the number system works for South Africa, so. Uh, let's see, 300s. A lot of hundreds. 62, okay. R62. Goes, there's 60. Now, is it like high weight? No, there's 43, 60, 60, 62. I'm going to click here. And I feel we've dialed in enough. We'll be okay. 62 ends there. I can't. Oh, man. Give me 329. This is like a super 75. 61. Okay. It was all the way up here. Oh, there's Loxton. I mean, I was looking. How did I end up down here? I don't know, but whatever. We actually got the country. Oh my god. This is like the most we've gotten. No, oh, I think another week we got two 20,000s. But I think actual total score for the week, I think this might be our strongest week yet. Even had a ran the gamut too had some nice russia gas this is i think yesterday or wednesday america or some bad ones but i got real close there i kind of this one was very ambiguous so is this i got the country right i nailed i feel like i nailed these two pretty well but another week down in the books i'd like to congratulate you all you made it another week another week of living you're halfway to whatever you wanted to be where you're uh, maybe start again you're at least a day closer to whatever you wanted to do next. You're a week closer to the end of the month. End of the month almost means end of half the year. Almost Half the year's almost over. Which pretty much means the year's over. And it's 2018, so it's almost 2020, guys. So, uh... 2050 is like a week away. And it's gonna happen that fast. I'm not, I'm not being a doomsayer here. I'm just saying, hey. Go out and do something fun. I'm just an old man here sitting in my room, playing GeoGuessr, looking forward to the weekend. Just wait until next year when I can take a bit of some vacation and potentially visit one of these fine countries that we've uh, GeoGuessed on. But for everyone here at uh, Hobby Fist, I'd like to thank you guys for taking a little bit of time out of your life to come watch these videos. Uh, check out some of the other stuff we got in the channel. Uh, we've got uh, Uncharted going. I'm putting up Twitch VODs of me playing God of War because everyone's playing God of War. Um, kind of feel like the archetype of Kratos in this one. Kind of feels like my dad. So I'm kind of getting some flashbacks. But, uh, yeah, I'm good stuff going on the channel. It's good times. Great oldies. like to thank you all again for watching. These things never end quick enough. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not sorry. Whatever. Let's just stop talking, Greg. End the, end the video. We'll see you on Monday, bright and early, with some more geo guessing. Goodbye.